Hello guys, my name is Moxley from HaonAndroid.com where we get Ha on Android, Android every day. day. Anyway, today we're going to learn how to unlock the bootloader on, on LG devices. Now before I begin, this is not going to work on all the LG devices. This method is only going to work on devices officially supported by LG. Let's go ahead and take a look, baby. Now, before I begin, unlocking the bootloader on your LG Android device will erase everything on your phone. It's also going to avoid warranty. Most US carriers, they don't actually check if you actually unlock your bootloader or root it, unless you openly tell them and ask them, Hey, I unlocked the bootloader on my LG V20. Can I still get warranty? They're going to tell you, hell no. So just exercise your right to remain silent. Just don't say anything. They're still going to give you warranty. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do is go to developer.lge.com. All right, go type that on your browser and go into unlock bootloader and go under supported devices. All right, uh, make sure you have one of these model numbers. If you don't have one of these model numbers, for example, I have LG V20 for Verizon, which is not listed here. Um, I do have a method on how to unlock bootloader um, on my site. If your device is not listed, you will have to go with an unofficial method if it does exist. Now, not all bootloader unlock method exists simply because with devices that have locked bootloader, developers actually have to find an exploit. So in this tutorial, you're going to be able to unroot the bootloader on all of these LG devices, which is officially supported by LG. All right, so I have the LG V20 US 996, which is the US unlock version, which by the way is a great variant to get if you're in the US. It supports AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. It's a hybrid phone. All right, I'm actually using it on Verizon. Anyway, if your device is supported, please continue. Otherwise, go check my website and I will try to list other unofficial methods on my article. So check there first. And if you don't see it there, um, try Googling it and you may find a method for your LG that's not listed here. Okay, guys, I've got my LG V20 here. First thing you are going to do is go into settings. Go ahead and find about phone and tap on that. Go to status. And go ahead and write down your IMEI number here. All right. All right. Make sure you write down the IMEI. We're going to need it later. Go ahead and find about phone and tap on that. And go ahead and find software info and go ahead and tap on build number about five times. All right. Until it says uh, you're a developer, but I already did it. So it says I'm already a developer. Go ahead and hit the back button once or twice, depending on your phone. And you should see a new menu option called developer options. Go ahead and tap on that and go ahead and make sure OEM unlock is checked on. All right. You should see this option. If you have like a really old device, there's a chance you might not see it. Um, but for all the newer devices, you should see this. All right. Once you see that, you're good to go. Next, go ahead and scroll down and make sure USB debugging is checked on just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and connect it to your computer via cable. And you can go ahead and use Windows, Mac or Linux. I'll be using Windows for this particular tutorial. But if you're using Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and use the substitute commands on my site, all right, which I'll have linked to the article in the description below. So let's go to our computer. Okay, guys, next go to my site high on android.com. All right. And you go here, um, you will need ADB and also drivers. So go to rooting menu and go to fastboot.zip ADB and Android USB drivers. All right. You will need to download uh, fastboot.zip. All right. Download this one and go ahead and scroll to the bottom and you'll see download LG drivers. All right. You'll need LG drivers. All right. Go ahead and download the drivers. All the download links are at the bottom. Um, so go ahead and click here to download where you see at the bottom and also for LG, go ahead and click here to download that will download the two files. Um, so you should have fastboot.zip and LG driver. First, go ahead and double click LG driver and install the program. All right. I've, I've actually already installed it. And after you install it, go ahead and unplug your USB and plug it back into your phone. And to verify you have the proper drivers installed for Windows, go ahead and open up device manager on your computer and you should find LG mobile ADB interface, something along the lines of LG ADB interface. All right. If you see that you're good to go, go ahead and close that out. 
Go ahead and double click on fastboot.zip, extract all files, extract it to the downloads folder. All right, extract, and you'll get a folder called fastboot. All right, which has all of your files needed for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Next, you're gonna go ahead and open a command prompt. Go ahead and type CMD in the search bar. For Mac or Linux, you'll go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how to do that, please go Google it. And also the commands for Mac or Linux are nearly identical, but slightly different. So check my site. I'll have all the stuff you gotta type instead of uh, on a Windows, which I'm using here. And next, you're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, enter CD fastboot, enter. And you're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader. This will boot you back into bootloader mode. All right, go ahead and enter. And it might not work in the first time. Um, go to your phone. It might actually say allow USB debugging. Go ahead and check OK. All right. Um, go ahead and go back to your computer and type ADB reboot bootloader. And you'll see that your phone is now rebooting into fastboot mode. Once here, you're going to go ahead and type fastboot space OEM space device dash ID. Just like that. All right, if it worked, you're good. Sometimes Windows can cause havoc, which is what's happening here. Um, so what you want to do is go go into your device manager. And if you see this Android exclamation mark, um, you'll have to actually download the USB drivers. To fix this issue, go back to the rooting in fastboot ADB drivers. I put the new file there. Um, go to download ADB drivers manual install. All right, and we're going to actually go ahead and manually install this driver because it's stuck. Go ahead and click here to download and go back to your downloads folder and double click and go ahead and unzip the USB driver.zip. Extract all files. And next, go back to device manager and go ahead and double click on um, Android exclamation mark. Go to update driver, browse my computer. Uh, let me pick from a list of device drivers, show all devices and go to have disk, browse. And go ahead and browse to your downloads um, USB underscore driver folder that you unzip the files to. Hit open, OK, and choose Android ADB. Hit next and say yes. And that will install the drivers properly. Now, this might happen on older Windows, like I'm using a Windows 7. If you're using newer Windows, it should probably not happen. All right, if you go back to the command prompt, you will see that the command worked. You can go ahead and copy these two lines. For Windows, you're going to do mark, right click mark, and then select it and do right click. And go ahead and open up like a notepad and you're going to copy and paste it there. Um, go ahead and put this into one line like that. All right. And then go ahead and select it and copy. All right, go back to the LG site where you're watching the supported devices. Go to um, make sure you sign in. Um, go to sign in. And if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and sign up for a free account. Verify your email. And once that's done, go back here and go to how to unlock the bootloader page. And if you scroll to the bottom, there's a button for start unlocking the bootloader. Go ahead and tap on that and go ahead and choose your phone, which mine is LG US 997, the US uh, LG V20 and you're gonna paste your device ID okay also go ahead and copy and paste um, the IMEI you've copied down earlier all right and go ahead and hit confirm oops sorry sorry I chose the wrong model make sure you choose the right model it's actually US 996 I have so I'm gonna hit confirm and if you got to legal terms you're good to go say agree and it says the bootloader unlock key has been sent to my email address so I'm going to go ahead and check my email and boom shakalaka. All right, you should have an attachment called unlock.bin. Go ahead and download and go ahead and show this in the folder and go ahead and drag this into the fastboot folder. All right. Now next, go back to the command prompt and we're going to type fastboot space flash space unlock space unlock.bin. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and enter and this will unlock the bootloader. All right, and if you go back to your phone, it will say how to exit fastboot mode, all right? That means it's been unlocked. Go back to your computer and type fastboot space, reboot. All right, and your device software, if you get that warning, that means that your phone has been completely unlocked bootloader bootloader unlocked all right and everything will get erased here
Also, if you go back to the command prompt, you'll see that a bootloader unlock key flash success. All right, which means your bootloader has been completely unlocked. Now, why am I unlocking the bootloader on my LG V20? Um, the V20 honestly has been lagging on me lately, especially at startup, everything lags. So I'm gonna probably install an AOSP ROM, sort of like uh, Lineage ROMs or maybe Resurrection Remix. Um, that's gonna make it run a ton faster because LG software on the V20 is just super laggy and it's just not taking, you know, it's not maximizing it. And I'm still on Android 7.0. With uh, custom ROMs, I'm gonna be able to upgrade it to the latest Android 8.1 Oreo. Now with AOSP ROMs, I'm gonna lose my second screen most likely. But you know what? So long as I can use the cameras, I really don't care at this point. I just wanna use a wide angle because I use this phone for uh, live streaming anyways. And I may start playing with some other ROMs um, that also based on LG, so I don't have to lose my second screen. All right, um, at this point, your phone is fully unlocked. Whether you have an LG V20 or other devices that the LG um, supports go ahead and sign in and you should be good to go now next step is obviously you're gonna go ahead and use fast boot to flash twerp recovery um, I'll have a video tutorial on that or if you know how to do it already go ahead and help yourself now for the LG V20 There is no official twerp. You can go ahead and download um, the unofficial versions. That's floating on the online But yeah, it's been a while since they developed that so it should work flawless even though it's not official and you can see how laggy even the setup process is. This is why I don't wanna keep using the LG software. Um, this is another reason why you should root your phone, especially after it, you know, ages a couple years. Look at how slaggy that is, oh my God. So with an AOSP ROM, it's gonna fix all of that. Um, but if you got to this point, you should be good to go. Have a great day. Um, now you've learned how to unlock LG devices that are officially supported by LG. And this video is one small part of my Android Root 101 series. If you want to check out the next video, go ahead and click here. If I have made the video by the time you watch this. And also if you want to check out the whole series, click here. And also if you want to subscribe, click on my face. Boom shock.